to all. Um, so yes, I'm going to talk to you a little bit how I uh, traded my job being uh, working on the web to doing photos. Um, taking photos is lots of fun. You get to do things like this, like I did last week. Um, I hope what I have to say is it's going to be interesting, not just for people who are interested in trading up to, to do photography for a living, but also for anyone who has a part-time hobby that they do in their spare time um, that has ever entertained the idea of, of making it a career. I never intended to be a photographer, never had any training. Um, it's just my passion that I pursued in my spare time, and it just, some sort of circumstances worked out. A fundamental thing I think is important is to share your work. Uh, it, a lot of us take photos, but while those photos sit on our hard drives or our compact flashcards, they don't exist to the world. Get them out there, whether it's photos or whatever your passion is, share it with the world. I personally have a philosophy that until you've shown other people your photo, it doesn't exist. Taking the, clipping the shutter is only part of the way that once you show it to the world, that's when the photo actually, if the job of taking a photo is finished. This was me in 2005 at South by Southwest Interactive with all the geeks. Um, we are in the best position to share our work. If we you know how to communicate online and build platforms for our work, we're like miles ahead of anyone else. This is what I did. I, I built myself a website. This is before sites like Flickr and uh, Facebook existed. Uh, and it was, I would take photos each week and then just put all my photos online. And if people would see me taking photos, they'd just say, check them out on my website. And that's what people did. Um, I think it's really important to be obsessed with what your hobby is, what your passion is. I was obsessed with music. Um, and so I would go to a lot of live shows. And when I got my camera, those uh, loves intertwined and I became obsessed with shooting live shows. Um, this is a really shitty photo I took in 2004 on my little pocket camera after I squeezed right up to the front of the big day out to take a few pictures of the Kings of Leon and I put those photos on my website. Admittedly very poor. But I kept kept doing it. I would go to shows, I shot hundreds of shows, um, like this shot at the Annandale. I would squeeze into the mosh pit and photograph my favorite bands and put them all online. And eventually, I uh, got enough work published to, uh, to get out an actual proper photo pass. And this is the same band, Kings of Leon, two years later. But as you can tell, I was a, a fair bit closer this time. Um, and yeah, it paid off and I got proper accreditation and was working more professionally. And that also led to taking portraits of bands. Because again, I'm always in the, in the music arena because that's what I was passionate about. Um, bands would ask me to take press photos for them. Something I'd never done before, but I just I just said yes and, and started to do it. Um, and that like, also led on to shooting some like idols that I had while I was growing up, like Iggy Pop and Henry Rollins. Um, it's one of the privileges of my job is now getting to actually take portraits of people off stage as well as doing the mic photos. Now, <laughs> I was one of those guys that used to go to clubs and photograph drunk people and those photos we published in street press and whatnot. And a lot of people think it's kind of a dead end <laughs> photography job, but I'm looking, I'm like, I didn't know it, but it was actually teaching me a lot while I was doing it. Uh, I learned a lot about lighting and, and how to use my camera from shooting in gloves in really dark environments. Like, this was just a Halloween party, but I, I kind of worked out how to use my flash to light people flatteringly, and, and that's, those sort of skills were very helpful. Uh, it gave me confidence to talk to girls like that. I, I was always very shy and, um, and, and introverted, but when you have to shoot um, people in clubs, you have to engage with people and, and learn how to talk to strangers. Uh, I also met a lot of people, thankfully not engaging in that sort of activity, but you, I would meet hundreds of people taking photos in clubs, and you know, every now and again you'd meet someone that could be a potential employer, and it would pay off with, um, with paid work. Um, and this is just a little story of a serendipitous experience. This was just a couple that I photographed um, at Purple Sneakers in 2005. And um, they asked me where I was going to put the photos, and I told them about my website. And they looked it up, and uh, well, they were getting married about six months later. And they, they liked my work, and so I, uh, I said, they asked if I would take their wedding photos. And I'd never done it before, but I said yes, and photographed their wedding. And they stayed following my work. We didn't really talk. But then about a year and a half later, the gentleman in the photo was starting a magazine called Time Out. And because he followed my work and liked what I did, he asked if I would come on board and be the chief photographer. So I did and started doing cool stuff like magazine covers. And uh, that's a little bit of my story um, about how I traded being a web geek to being a photographer. Thank you.